Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, we're going to discuss alignment within Harlow 3.3. When we use Harlow, sometimes we find ourselves in the need to align things to different parts of the display when we're showing a player or reader a particular story or game we're creating. We can align things within Harlow by using special combinations of symbols. In Harlow, these are the equal sign and the greater than or less than sign to point towards the direction we want the next content to be aligned. So notice if I pull it up here, we have the default alignment, and then notice a combination of equal signs and the greater than sign, and it's pointing towards where the next alignment will be. In this case, the next alignment will be aligned to the right-hand side. So two equal signs and a greater than sign pointing in the direction of the next alignment. So let's go ahead and play the story just so we can see this in action. So when we go ahead and play, we see this line has default alignment, and then we see this line is aligned to the right. Because the two equal signs and the greater than sign pointed towards the right, the next content that was shown was now on the right-hand side. So let's go back, and what if we want to align to the left? Well, the default alignment is the left-hand side. So notice right here, we have this line is has default alignment, and then next, this line is aligned to the left. So if we start the story from here, so let's go ahead and change the starting passage, start story from here to this, come back to build and play, we don't really notice any change. So the default alignment is left alignment. However, we can mix combinations of symbols to align things among the kind of columns that we have available within Harlow. So we can align fully to the right, we can align fully to the left, or we can mix those up. So finally, let's move to this last example. Notice we have alignment right here. We are aligning to the right. It is pointing towards the right. So the next content will be aligned to the right. Then I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to center something. I'm doing this by putting an equal number of equal signs on each side and using the greater than and less than signs to point towards the middle. Then I'm doing something slightly different. In this case, there will be three equal signs on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side, and so it will be shifted slightly to the right, as it will be pointing more towards the right than pointing towards the left. And then finally, I reverse it and do it the other way. So let's look at this last example and then review slightly how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and start the story from over here and go to Build and Play. And notice it looks like it's all over the place. So initially we aligned to the right, that was the very next thing we did, and then I aligned to the center, so everything was aligned to the center until the next change that was aligned slightly to the right, and then aligned slightly to the left. So let's go back and look at this because this is an important example. So previously, in the last two passages that we looked at, the right alignment and left alignment, we had text and then we had alignment. What is important about how we use alignment within Harlow is that whatever we use, combinations of symbols, the two equal signs and then a greater than or less than sign, will apply to the next thing in sequence. That is, the very next thing in the passage is this text, and so it applies to that until it is changed again. So an important thing to remember when we work with the symbols is that the symbols apply to the very next thing or until the passage ends. Because notice, for example, when we used right alignment and left alignment, if we were to move to another passage, which we didn't quite see, they would not still apply. So it applies until the passage ends, until we move to another passage, or until we run into other symbols, which we particularly saw in this example. We saw right alignment, centered alignment, slightly right alignment and slightly left alignment. But as we can see here, by using combination of these symbols, we can point to different places. We can point fully to the right, point to the left, or point to variations of centered. And by using these various alignments, we can apply positionality within the text that we're presenting to a player or reader when we works within Harlow. So this is an important but introductory idea within Harlow. Just like we've seen with many other symbol combinations within Harlow, we can change the presentation of text, change the presentation of our story, and create a much richer experience by understanding, again, how we use alignment, using combinations of equal signs, and then either the greater than or less than symbols 
within a Harlow to align things right, left, and mixing it for various degrees of center. Thanks for watching.